The reason why I came up with this countdown called the most expensive Caribbean island resorts is because I made a countdown video recently about the cheapest island resorts. And guess what? No one cared and the views were abysmal. Why? People who travel are usually not broke. You either got to the bag in just a few hours using your hustling skills or you saved your money up from work and now you're ready for an island adventure that will put other people's social media pictures to shame. Well you're in the right place, I've been traveling the Caribbean for over 10 years now and I'm going to show you the most expensive Caribbean island resorts to binge a small fortune on. And my number 5 pick will probably be the most surprising if you've been following current Caribbean news. Engage. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can get an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. All right, so number 10 is Turks and Caicos. If you have $2,400 per night to spend on a Caribbean resort, don't look any further than Ambergris K. This resort is on a private island south of Turks and Caicos mainland called Big Ambergris K. And the back and forth airplane transports are included with the hefty price. It's five stars and have received almost all exceptional class ratings from its recent customers with the cleanliness of the resort being their most praised response. When you wake up in the morning, the ocean will be right out your front door and right outside of every window. The family-friendly, all-inclusive resort has strong Wi-Fi, pools, 24-hour room service, and you're sitting on top of white sands. It has two world-renowned restaurants. The entire island is taking social distancing and sterilization seriously with contactless check-in, surface cleanings, and temperature checks. This is not for people who are on a tight budget. Just because you know the value of your money doesn't mean you aren't aware of the value your money can bring. Every dollar spent in this highly exclusive resort in Turks and Caicos will be well worth it. Now number nine is Barbados. Around my birthday, July 23rd, everything in Barbados is sold out. That's because the Crop Over Festival in Bridgetown, Barbados takes place the last week of July. But even when going to Barbados any other time of the year, you will always get white sand beaches and friendly culture. It's easy to see why Barbados is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Caribbean. At roughly $1,323 per night and waiting till around September, you'll be able to experience the Sandals Island Resort. This couple's only hotel will give you sea view and an all-inclusive room in the entertainment district on the beach. Here you'll be within an eight minute walk of Turtle and Dover Beach. The scenery is the stuff that vacation dreams are made of. This is a newer resort just completed in 2017. The price tag is hefty, but if you wanna live like the rich for at least a week, this place is worth it. Now number eight is Jamaica. Sandals in Jamaica is famous for its all-inclusive Jamaica packages. Jamaica's Sandus has won multiple awards for its excellent service. Sandus Montego Bay is considered the best that Sandus has to offer on any island in the Caribbean. But guess what? When it comes to Jamaica, one of the most expensive and well worth money resorts in Jamaica is the adults only all inclusive beach villas in Excellence Oyster Bay. How much is it? Right now it's 40% off, so that makes it only $2,566 a night. The normal price is $4,204 a night. But trust me, the adventure you will have and the pictures full of memories that you will take will be some of the most lit when compared to anyone else's pictures of their vacation in Jamaica. You will be in Falmouth, which is one of the cities just east of Montego Bay. You may recognize the area because many cruise ships dock there when you're making a stop in Jamaica. It's also within three miles of Blue Waters Beach Club, Burwood Beach, and Luminous Lagoon. Silver Sands Public Beach and Greenwood Great House are also within 12 miles of this resort. Now number seven is St. Lucia. While St. Lucia may be known as the Caribbean island of romance, it's also known as one of the most expensive destinations on the planet. Jade Mountain Resorts hovers around $2,358 a night. With that price, you'll get whirlpool tubs and oceanfront rooms. The best part of being oceanfront in St. Lucia is this is prime space to see the world famous St. Lucian Patons right outside your window. Everywhere you turn, there will be a walkway, bridge, or another private infinity pool. St. Lucia is no ordinary Caribbean island. The mountains, jungles, beaches, and famous landmarks of the Patons, the two volcanic plugs on the southwestern coast of the island, whispers echoes of the history to all who visit. The island itself is a biodiversity hotspot offering four different eco zones that span from tropical rainforest to mangrove swamps. Number six is Antigua and Barbuda. The most expensive resort in Antigua is Jumbi Bay Resort. The beachside suite will run you about $3,100 a night. The breathtakingly beautiful islands that have 
some of the planet's most ethereal turquoise seas and finest pottery sand beaches are one of a kind. The main attraction, which is only a few steps away, is Dickinson Bay, which is a long strip of beachfront filled with cafes, bars, and water sport concessions. It's also home to a one mile long coral reef. You'll be on what is called Long Island, aka Jumbo Bay, which is the fifth largest of the Barbuda and Antigua Islands. Spending this much per night, you may not want to stray too far away from your luxurious suite where the staff is eager to cater to your every need and desire. And number five is St. Bart's. Now in 2008, Forbes ranked St. Bart's number 11 on its list of the world's richest places by GDP per capita. This French island off of Guadeloupe is known for its posh real estate and high-end restaurants. When you're ready to break the bank, you need to stay at Quartier Lorient. Once you're there, get the villa in a resort called the La Sereno. This deal will run you around 5,600 per night, so for seven nights, you're paying about $40,000. But the service is unmatchable. The staff will know how much you're spending, and they'll treat you that way while you're staying at this private beach. You will be near Grand Cul-de-Sac and Marigot Beach. The entire place was just renovated in 2019. They had convenience, contemporary, and the desires of people who only live baller status in mind while they were rebuilding. Now number four is Bermuda. The residents at the St. Regis Bermuda will cost you 4,500 per night for the penthouse, which features three bedrooms that are all balcony and oceanfront. The residence at St. Regis is ranked as Bermuda's finest hotel by every traveler who's ever been here. <laughs> with a luxury spa and private beach, as well as luxurious settings with traditional Bermudian architecture, you can expect only high quality service for its guests. Attractions in the immediate area include Summer's Garden, Bermuda Aquarium, Museum and Zoo, BAMS for short, and the Bermuda Underwater Exploration Institute and Front Street. Long gone are the days of worrying about the Bermuda Triangle. While in the St. George Resort, you will not have a worry in the world. Now number three is the Cayman Islands. Grand Cayman is an expensive but worthwhile destination for travelers seeking first-class service, a thriving cruise port, and a broad selection of upscale amenities. When budget is not your main concern, you'll get the chance to experience Grand Cayman the way it was meant to be experienced, from the Caribbean Club Luxury Condo Hotel. Right in the middle of Seven Mile Beach, you will experience high-end rooms in a boutique hotel. You'll always have an area to yourself while on the beach because this hotel secluded area of the beach is never overcrowded. And the price is not even that bad when compared to others on this list coming in at $1,680 per night. While on Grand Cayman, it's highly suggested that you rent a private charter so you can go see the sting rays and go snorkeling. And number two is the British Virgin Islands. While in the British Virgin Islands, the things to do is visit White Cay, the Baths, or Charter and Dream Yacht. Rates start at $29.95 a night. It's no surprise that Necker Island was going to be one of the most expensive Caribbean resorts. Necker Island is a 74-acre private island owned by the Virgin founder Richard Branson and frequented by celebrities such as Bill Gates and David Bowie. Guests can either stay in luxury villas or on one of the floating villas offshore. And yes, there's Wi-Fi if you can get a signal over those crystal clear waters. And very surprisingly, number one is Puerto Rico. Rich history and culture, exceptional food, pristine beaches, majestic mountains, relaxation, adventure, all packed into one sun-kissed Caribbean paradise. La Isla del Encanto is full of people who are buenegante, which is Boricua slang for saying kind and friendly and welcoming. Dorado Beach is an upper-class resort here, which is a rich Carlton reserve. If you want to stay in a one-bedroom rooftop balcony suite, where you'll get a breathtaking view of the West Beach, you'll have to fork over $4,899 per night. The suite sleeps four and you'll get 1,700 square feet. I don't see you leaving your room that much, but if you do, around every corner of this sun-washed medley of Spanish and American influences, you'll find a celebration of life, a vibrant cultural experience, mouth-watering food for the soul, and a captivating rhythm. And like I said on my Puerto Rico video that I'm attaching above, if you're from New York City, you'll feel like you're right at home. Tourists from around the world are flocking to Puerto Rico as charming colonial towns, white sand beaches, and year-round tropical climate. Because Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, most travelers can take advantage of the U.S. Customs immigration regulations, because they're the same as they was if you was vacationing stateside. Not needing a passport can come in handy if you're traveling as a group that does not travel as much as you do. Puerto Rico is a great way for them to enjoy authentic Caribbean vacation travel. Of course, you can find much cheaper hotels than Dorado in Puerto Rico, just like you can find much cheaper rooms in every Caribbean island that I've mentioned. But hey, you only live once.
Now in conclusion, any of these resorts will cost a small fortune, but after spending it, you'll be fully aware of the full magnitude of the Caribbean. For those who want the best when it comes to luxurious pampered vacations, these Caribbean offers will get you into some of the best experiences in the world for your money. Budget travel certainly has its place, especially if you haven't been anywhere for a while and you just need to unwind really quickly. But sometimes it's only right to withdraw a big chunk of savings or investment loot and treat yourself like a king, a passport king. <laughs>